this is Peter Christopher. Welcome to the Clipper Ship City of Adelaide. On arrival, you are welcome to look at our information centre featuring many displays and our merchandise. This is the stern of the vessel, just as we've come on the barge. The square windows above were cut in when it was a hospital ship from 1893 until 1923. We need to now go up these stairs to get up into the ship. We're now inside the ship looking towards the stern and uh, here we have some of our displays. Uh, these are always popular with uh, families. And uh, over here, uh, amongst other displays, we have a, a Bible that was owned by Captain Alexander Bruce in 1876, together with a cross made out of hair. The iron frame of the ship has been cleaned up and painted back to the original colour, and the white timber decking of the saloon deck above has been repaired. This display shows the ship as it was when sailing, together with the five captains who over the years brought it into Port Adelaide, starting with Captain David Bruce, who actually had the uh, ship uh, built and was a part owner. This is looking towards the bow of the vessel on the main passenger deck, which was homed up to 270 passengers uh, when the ship was sailing to full capacity. It travelled out non-stop. Um, sailing from uh, England to Adelaide was able to do so because it could travel so fast due to its composite construction with an iron frame and a wooden hull. Our many displays include tribute to Goida, whose family travelled on the ship, uh, a Wilcox display. George and Annie Wilcox did several journeys uh, and one of their sons, George Seaborn Wilcox, was born aboard the ship. Uh, one of our more popular displays is the Bickford's display. Um, Anne Bickford owned a pharmacy in Adelaide in 1864 and imported three casks of lime cordial into Adelaide on this ship in that year. When it stopped sailing, the City of Adelaide was a hospital ship in Southampton for 30 years, as reflected by this display. We are now down in the cargo hold. There were no bulkheads or walls uh, as the iron frame was strong enough to enable uh, the ship to manage without them. Uh, this walkway that we have put in place enables visitors to actually walk through. The saloon deck was home to first class passenger cabins and is the subject of our current activity. Uh, the area is not currently open to the public uh, due to the amount of work going on. This display shows the completed plans for Dock 2 Seaport Village with the City of Adelaide as its centrepiece. There are many photographs with inside the ship showing the moving operation. This replica coat of arms is identical to what was on the ship when it was sailing in 1864 and would have been on the Adelaide Town Hall when the ship was sailing. The Carrick wheel was fitted by the Royal Navy after it became HMS Carrick in 1923. As kids explore the ship, they are encouraged to look for these rats hidden all the way through it. Uh, sh all ships had rats, of course keeps the kids amused for hours looking for them. Displays include copies of the ship's original papers. Predating the Plimsoll Line, Lloyd's Rule as it was known, marked the safe water line for the ship and was put in by Lloyd's, the insurance company. 
our information centre is constantly expanding and we are due to open new exhibits shortly. One of our neighbours on Dock 2 is the Nelson Bee, which when operating as a tug in 1886 towed the city of Adelaide into Port Augusta. The enormous rudder is separate from the ship but will be mounted shortly uh, once we have the vessel on land. Looking directly at the bow, one sees the beautiful clipper bow and also the cradle beneath it that was used to move the ship. Our major sponsor is the Police Credit Union. We are grateful for the support as we are not government funded. There are many displays in the ship uh, of interest to all ages. We are open daily from 10am to 3pm and encourage you to visit with your family uh, and enjoy what we have to offer.